is an open letter to the United States government. This is in regards to the debt crisis that we're in, the almost $16 trillion in debt, and that is collective and commutative from the beginning of the country to current time. Um, right now, if you think about it, there's roughly 314 million people in the United States. Out of that number, we'll say 200 million work. There, those are actual workers. Out of that, we'll say 20 million make less than $32,000 a year. Let's say 60 million make about 49, yeah, about 49.5 thousand a year. Let's say 45 million people make 89.5 thousand a year. Let's say 33 million make 133.5 thousand a year. That would be $133,500. Let's say 30 million make 250,000 a year. And let's say 20 million make about 500,000 a year. Let's say 2 million people make a million dollars a year. And let's add in the 400 billionaires or close to it in the United States, but we'll only do them at 1 billion each. Now we know some are worth 30 billion, some are worth close to 60 billion, but for all intents and purposes, we'll just do 1 billion. My idea is to tax everybody at 10%. You know, this means at the end of the year, no one gets a tax rebate check. We all pay our taxes, and we all pay 10%. Within the 10% will be Social Security, Medicare, and federal collection. Now, having the numbers that I already said, let's look at that at that tax rate. So we have the 20 million people making 32,000 at a tax rate of 10% leaves $3,200 per individual times 20 million people is $64 billion in tax revenue. Let's take the 60 million who make 49.5 thousand, that's 49,500, tax them at 10%. That's $4,950 times the 60 million is 297 billion in collection. Let's take the 45 million at $89,500 at 10% is $8,950 times those 45 million people is 402 billion 750 million collected. Next we'll take the 33 million and we'll that earn $133,500, tax them at 10%. That's 13,350 times 33 million is 440 billion, 550 million. Next, the 30 million that make 250,000 a year. Ta tax them at 10%. That's 25,000 at 30 million is 747 or $750 billion collected. Let's take 20 million people who make $500,000 a year at 10%. That's $50,000 per individual collected times the 20 million. That's a total of $1 trillion collected. Now let's just take the 2 million people who make a $1 million a year, tax them 10%. That's one hundred million dollars, or I'm sorry, that's one hundred thousand dollars times the two million is two hundred billion collected. You take the four hundred known billionaires, probably CEOs, companies, at ten percent, that's a hundred million dollars taxed by those four hundred, only creates four hundred billion. Add all of those numbers up per year is $3,191,300,000,000 collected per year. If you take that number and multiply it by five years, that's 
500 million. That is almost the complete debt erased in five years. You take that number times 10. 10 years is not that long. Take that number times 10. That's $31,913,000,000,000 collected. That's a hell of a lot of money collected. That's total wiping out the debt and adding another $15 trillion in to do whatever the hell you want to do money. I mean, if you want to invent the car that runs on Brussels sprouts, you have the money to do it. This is a very easy thing to do. All you need is everyone to get on board and to do it. This would also put more money in everyone else's pocket who's a taxpayer. Just because you don't get your tax money at the end of the year like a lot of people want, you'll have more during the year to spend. Now, this will work if we just quit spending money. People in Congress need to quit with their pet projects. They need to just quit spending money. Only on essentials. Cut. Get rid of things that we don't need. We don't need the federal government to throw three, four, five million dollars at a fish in California. If Californians want to save a fish, then the state of California should go ahead and put up the money to save the fish. I don't think people here in Oklahoma or people in Wisconsin or, well, maybe, or people in Georgia give a crap about a fish in California. Just saying. That's, that's one of those stupid things that they do. This, like I said, can be easily done. And I equate this to the same thing as the drilling for oil. If we drilled for oil 20 years ago, we wouldn't be in the spot we're in now with prices at the pump. We wouldn't be in a shortage. We wouldn't have to rely on Saudi Arabia or anyone out in the Middle East for oil. We'd have our own. Simple logic. The debt can be eliminated. 10% tax is all. Everybody pays their fair share, just like Obama wants. Pay your fair share. There you go. And I don't even support the man. Guys, if a warehouseman making under $25,000 a year can figure this out, I would think the higher-ups in the country could also. They need to remember it's we the people, not we the elected. You're there to serve us. It's about time you guys started to.